Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, March the 28th. It's year two, it's week five in Lent, and it's week seven in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 128 and 129, and Exodus chapter 7, verse 8 to 24. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, blessed are you who fear God the Most High and walk in God's ways. Psalms 128 and 129. O oh, blessed are you who fear God the Most High and walk in God's ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat, and you will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed those who fear God, and may God bless you from Zion all the days of your life. And may you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem. They have pressed me hard from my youth. This is Israel's song. They have pressed me hard from my youth, but could never destroy me. They plowed my back like plowmen, drawing long furrows. But you have destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers, with which no reapers fill their arms, no binders make their sheaves, and those passing by will not say, on you God's blessing. We bless you in the name of God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, blessed are you who fear God the Most High, and walk in God's ways. The lesson is from the book of Exodus, chapter 7, beginning at verse 8. Now Yahweh said to Moses and Aaron, When Pharaoh says to you, Perform a wonder, then you shall say to Aaron, Take your staff and throw it down before Pharaoh, and it will become a snake. And so Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and did as Yahweh had commanded. And Aaron threw down his staff before Pharaoh and his officials, and it became a snake. Then Pharaoh summoned the wise men and the sorcerers, and they also, the magicians of Egypt, did the same by their secret arts. Each one threw down his staff, and they became snakes. But Aaron's staff swallowed up theirs. And still Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, as Yahweh had said. And then Yahweh said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning as he is going out to the water. Stand by at the river bank to meet him, and take in your hand the staff that was turned into a snake, and say to him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, Set me to you to say, Let my people go, so that they may worship me in the wilderness. But until now you have not listened. Thus says Yahweh, By this you shall know that I am Yahweh. See, with the staff that is in my hand, I will strike the water that is in the Nile, and it shall be turned to blood. The fish in the river shall die, the river itself shall stink and the Egyptians shall be unable to drink water from the Nile. And Yahweh said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Take your staff and stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over its rivers, its canals, and its ponds, and all its pools of water, so that they may become blood. And there shall be blood throughout the whole land of Egypt, even in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did just as Yahweh commanded. In the sight of Pharaoh and of his officials, he lifted up the staff and struck the water in the river. And all the water in the river was turned into blood. 
and the fish died and the river stank. And the Egyptians could not drink its water, and there was blood throughout the whole land of Egypt. But the magicians of Egypt did the same by their secret arts. So Pharaoh's heart remained hardened, and he would not listen to them. As Yahweh had said, Pharaoh turned and went into his house, and he did not even take this to heart. And all the Egyptians had to dig along the Nile for water to drink, for they could not drink the water of the river. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints, in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, we praise you in the gift of Jesus given to us for our salvation. We ask you to forgive our sins and failings that prevent the coming of your reign and give us the grace to change our lives and to let, let the life of Jesus bear fruit in us. In his name we pray, amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>